so guys basing on the on the basic basing on the coming sorry basing on the coming week the coming monday so we'll be breaking some pairs uh and see the more so if you have a choice on the premium group of the basic effect so i kindly recommend you guys to join the premium group because guys people are making a lot of cash out there so you should follow the description below and join our premium via the link or contact us via the link below so we'll be breaking some Pairs. I won't give you all the pairs that you know. All pairs will be given on the premium group. We're uh, giving some here. So starting with the yen basket, guys. Starting with the yen basket onto the four hour sanction, guys. Onto the four hour sanction, we had this site. So I'll just keep this here. Okay, I'll keep this here and this one here, this one here, this one here, this one too. Also, this thing. So, on the previous week, we saw that your basket is in a pure downtrend, pure downtrend until we see some movement around this zone here. So, until we see some movement, some movement around this zone here. So, currently, we will be looking for bears on your basket. So, going into the four house sanction, guys, we spotted, yeah, we spotted that order block. Which we expected the market to come and tap our entries around that area, but unfortunately, the market didn't go onto our face and dropped down. So, on the two hour time frame, we thought there was this clean order block around this area here before this one. So, the market tried to tap the downward order block, this, this position, and we didn't catch it, so we lost the entry. Yes. That was clean. So after the top of that order block around that area, the market tried to create this sort of thing known as a double top around that area before the push down here. So after the confirmation of double top, the market created this uh this an inwilifying candle on the two hour cycle. So the people who are entering trades after the confirmation have put some trades around this area. Too. So after the double top creation, the market uh really did this break of market structure around this area here. See? That was the neckline so that was the neckline. See? But the change of market structure, I mean the break of market structure should be around this area here. See? The market breaks this neck. So after the, the uh, we all know that if we have something like this, a double top, you see? The double top here? We expect market to break this neck around this area and push to all the blocks to go for more emphasis move down. See? So this is what exactly happened to your basket around this area as you can see. So we have this order block around this area here. So we must put it into one hour time frame. We must be having some order blocks around that area. Yes, as you can see guys, we have that order block around this area. Around this area here is where we put it the order block. And clearly the market the market uh with the order block before the passes and passes more. So we also had this break of market structure also around this area here, as you can see. We had that break of market structure around that area, as you can see. This is the same break of market structure. So I'll just end here as a break of market structure. Break of market structure. So, so after the break of market structure, we expect market to go to pick some orders or uh, to do some 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 pullback. So this is what exactly happened to the market. So we have that timber around this area here, and we put it as our order block around this area. And the market really did some pullback around this area. See, to touch the entry after. So others have been placing some shots around this area. So this is the previous lower low, and we'll be putting it at the break of market structure. See, the market really tried to break out. See, yeah, 
and left some sort of weak around the area. So it is not completely break down as it is partially break down. So guys, I see some reversal around the area. Uh, you see this reversal of head and shoulder around the area. This is the shoulder and this is head here. And you see the left shoulder around this area. It's so far apart. Probably. But I be waiting for the break of the neck as you see can draw a neck around this area. If I'm expecting this to be uh, uh so I'm expecting that to be as you see. So I'll be placing the neck around the area. So if this market will clearly I expect this market to do some reversal some reversal around this area before upper push area here probably that area yeah, that, 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 that is what I'm expecting so I'm expecting this market to do some pullback till this order block here before some upper push so that is what I'm expecting so I'll be placing, I'll be placing, I'll be placing these sort of things known as we'll be placing our long around the face, top load, the load on around the area here. So we all move on to four hours cap. Yes. This is how I'll be looking on the map. This is how I'll be looking. So I think on seeing this trade here. That is what we I'm expecting to see on Monday. Yes, Yen Basket. So after Yen Basket, let's check it out on NGD JPY guys. Okay, I'll use this or under here. On to Yen Basket starting with the data from here guys. You know I am an interface trader, so I'll just be insisting you guys to keep on using interface trade. So on Yen Basket, on 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 NGDJTY, guys, I see this NGDJTY as a clean upward push. This is known as an upper trend, guys. You see, the clean trend. When you draw trend like so, on the coming video series, I'll be showing you guys on how to draw trend lines and how the the, the use of uh, trend lines. Some people do say. The assembly. So we we'll keep in touch with that also. After this quick move here, you see this is a cool, cool, cool one and uptrend here, guys. So, and unfortunately, you see this market uh, really tries to keep this higher high around this area. So I keep a second more. So we have this push, uh, this is higher high. Sorry. We have this push here to higher high, higher high, to higher low. Higher low to higher high, higher high to higher low, higher low to higher high, and play the break. See. So we see on this area here, we didn't have a clean break of structure actually. Guys, yeah, we didn't have a clean as you can draw here. We had to check out here around this area. So this means that the market is not clearly break the structure guys the road clearly break the structure so we expect maybe probably could be continuation of uh of an uptrend as you can see we have this later thing here is uh this is what we call uh in uh, sorry reversal pattern reversal candle yes let's be speaking into a whole house pattern guys so that's the point so you guys, so we really mistaken on the higher tension and we see we had a big clean break of structure. Probably, probably we had this clean of structure here. Probably, so guys, we had this change of market structure around this area here. So we'll be placing this as short. So change of market structure around that area. So I'll just keep my chart clean here. So then after the break, the change of market structure is when we're in a place where 
we will be checking for sellers, right? So we have this good push around this area here, this good push, good candle. So you see this timber here. So I'll be placing it as my order block. So I'll be waiting for this market to come and tap around that zone there for I before I take it. So okay, okay. What I'm expecting is market to come and do some great reversal around this area before some further down push. See guys. So for the time being, I wanna just pick some trade up here. As you can see, the market really tried to create this uh, some reversal pattern around this area. If you guys can see it clear around that area, see? Market tried to create that reversal pattern. That is a we call a reversal head and shoulder. So we have to put to the shoulder, and this is the head, and we have this shoulder here. So we expect this market to push further up here somewhere around this area. I don't know, outside the outer area. So there may be probably, probably. Yes, but we have to check the neckline. Yeah, it's neckline around those areas. So I'll be keeping my chart clean, guys. I'll be keeping my chart clean. I'll be keeping my chart what? Chart clean. See on every video. Slowly on the two hour time frame. After the break of the trend line, we expect market to do some test around it. Okay? So I'll be placing this around here. See, this is really important zone as the market really tries to do some consolidations around that. Uh, a see first place from there with the second place so, see guys so that is really uh an important zone so, so turn back on to one hour time frame we're looking for buying trade on Monday looking for buying trade so okay I'll just convince you guys uh to keep an eye keep an eye on that area getting short around this area here so take profit around this area here so I'll be keeping my stop losses above the zone so probably around this area here. and be keeping uh, some buying in so some selling in around this area so I'm done with NVD JPY coming back on DXY dollar index so we have this set up dollar index and the uh, previous week so I'll just keep a quick recap here. Quick recap of uh, we had uh, some order block around this area and the market tried to tap this area here, tap our orders before the down push there. But we have this break of market structure around this area. So we expect market to do some 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 pullbacks around some areas. So we're gonna look for those MC. We're gonna look for okay, I'll just keep it clear. We're gonna look for those areas where the market probably might do some impassive move down so keeping on to two hour tension uh two hour tension we have this beautiful beautiful order block around this area here this is what i'm seeing guys this is what i'm seeing so for those who didn't take some entries around that area we expect them to take some entries around this area here keeping their stop losses about the zone and for those who want to take some re-entries some more entries be keeping some entries around there, but don't forget to fix some TP on the same cross line and our market here for the ETH. So that is the XY and turning back to USD, CHS. Also, we have this great, 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 great one uh, set up on the last week, so I'll just keep a quick recap here also. So we have this clean double top around the area still. After the double do double top, sorry, double top, we have this note here which we check here. So we have the this not a BOS, but we can call it a we can call it a change of market structure. Change of market structure. Change of market structure around this area there. So after the change of market structure, we expect market to come and touch some other blocks. So this is a simple pullback around this area. So we may be looking, we will be looking for other blocks 
as to where the market will be resenting for more down Cuba. So on to two hours Thompson, I see nothing. Uh, let me check on one hour Thompson. Also uh, on one hour Thompson, uh, okay, okay, guys. We have this good push around this area here. So this is a good confirmation that we will be expecting some some order block above it. So I'm expecting this market to come back around this area. Come back onto this area so that is what I'm expecting uh, on the coming week. I um, mean on Monday. Uh, that is what I'm expecting on Monday. Yeah, that is what I'm expecting on Monday. So on Monday, for those who are late, we expect this market to come back um, to these areas here. Probably and keep our stop losses above the zone around this area there before the down push. So we have this favor here on your CPHS guys. I uh, don't think if you guys really want to miss this entry because it's coming back. Yes, after then we'll be giving an additional pair here. And for the bonus, uh, I'll decide to give on NGD card. Let me check NGD card here. So I'll use this for one. Fantastic one. So starting with the day time frame, the NGD card, starting with the day time frame, guys. You see, we have a really, really cool downtrend around this area. The NGD card here is it is in two downtrend. It is in down two downtrend. So we have the break of this market structure, but previously we have that double top there. So that is an expecting some pullback. Let me see it. It's to work out. So I'll be placing this zone around this area here. Mm. Uh, into four hour time frame. Into four hour time frame, guys. Uh, okay, we have to reverse head and shoulder. So the market probably might be reversing around this area. Probably. Ah, it's the clean one, it's the clean one, guys. We have this here, we have this shoulder here, we have this head around this area here, and we have this shoulder again. So we expect market to come and test some orders around those areas before some impasses move upward. So I'm gonna look for two hours time frame. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 I'm gonna test some time here. I'll teach you. Uh, we're gonna give you some series on the news and how to do trend lines on the coming videos. So. Just subscribe, guys. Don't forget the uh, notification alert on your screen there, and it will be the first person to just check out. So, we had this, uh, we call a uh, change of market structure around this area here. See, that's a clean change of market structure, and we'll be testing it as a change of market structure. So I'll be looking for order blocks around the shoulder here after the break of market structure. So I'll be looking for order blocks for before taking some long. So I'll just see this beautiful order here. This one I'm inside bar here. Inside bar candle. So I'm expecting some pullbacks on NGD card, NGD card some pullbacks around this area before some impasses must be take place. So this is what I'm expecting guys. This is what I'm expecting. Some pullbacks before impasses move. So I'll be taking uh, my long around this area and stop losses below the zone. So probably around this area here. And my take profit above that area there. So this is what I'm expecting uh, to happen on NGD card uh, until they turn into days, so starting on Monday. So this is what we have on Green Tips, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check the notification alert on the screen so you'll be the first person to view every release of the video on our channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed.